Hey everybody, Josh here. It's in a world alternative media here at Saqqara, and they say this is the oldest pyramid in Egypt. That's what they say. Um, maybe they're right, but what's underground and what's around the site, I think, is the most important part of the story here. Today, we are going to look deeply into the site of the Step Pyramid of Djoser here at Saqqara, and perhaps the mysteries that it holds as well. You won't want to miss this video. So, the same case with the evolution that we see, come on, because you haven't been here before. Mm -hmm. We are all here because. We can see here clearly also the evolution of the dynastic Egyptians. They started also constructing from stone. They have chosen limestone, of course. Mm -hmm. And they didn't choose any megalithic pieces, as you can see the original size of the blocks. This is, of course, the renovation. The pillars are not made from a single solid piece, like the granite pillars we have seen, but it's made from layers, and each layer is also two sections attached to each other. The other thing, a very similar structure to this one here in Saqqara was found, the area could be shown in Suhaj, in Upper Egypt, and it was all constructed from mud bricks, and still survives from the second dynasty until today. Limestone, they have used mostly local limestone, tons of mortar to fill between the blocks, and then there used to be some casing on top of it. But then underneath it is like 5.6 kilometers of tunnels, mm -hmm. and more than 50 tons of white calcite crystal was dug out of these tunnels, and it was buried on the other side of the pyramid. And the pieces of stone that came from down there is reflecting so cutting machining and the tubular drills. So the core of the pyramid is reflecting the same case like also the vessels, and then the rest of the structure is reflecting also the capability of Imhotib and his reproduction. So it was the pre reproduction was not just in the vessels, in my opinion, but it was also in building again these amazing structures to prove that they are the descendants of the original building. So this is a great example of them finding something already on the ground and them building on top of it and trying to build that something. That will be my conclusion because mm -hmm. I can see clear evidence that what was found in the core of the pyramid, I'm not just talking about the vessels because the vessels were stored, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about these 50 tons of color size and other materials mm -hmm. as well that was found and they are reflecting the power tools and also the tubular drills mm -hmm. and we will see it all right <laughs> the reproduction of the vessels on the third dynasty 
السلام عليكم الرجاء ده فين لسه ما جاش لا All right, we are now under the step pyramid at Saqqara and we're entering a very interesting spot here. Check this out. Wow. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is huge. The structural stability is quite incredible, but you could see the dynastic construction on top of the original construction. It's obviously different. As you could see, and I don't think you can see on camera, you can't really quite tell how deep this really is, but it's insanely deep. Um, how many stories would you say this is? Like floors? It's like six, seven, Could be as much as 10, depending on the size of the building. Probably 100 feet down. Yeah. So you see this construction above us, which is dynastic. You can tell it's dynastic. And then you just look down and it's totally different architecture, totally different techniques. I'll try not to drop my phone down here. And you see this massive box at the bottom and you see a bunch of tu tunnels stemming from it. We've heard many theories, many well-documented um, theories about how these tunnels could connect to other tunnels that could connect all the way to Giza. Um, which raises a lot of questions in itself. So even if you answer that, you have more questions. But this is absolutely enormous and it has not been open to the public very long. So we are very lucky to be able to even come in here right now. Um, why they've kept it closed for so long, I don't know, but I don't even know what else to add. It's insanely big and you can actually see pieces of wood um, plastered in with the uh, <laughs> with the dynastic construction. So just an example, pre-dynastic possibly, dynastic, and then recent times, they're using wood. Tells you everything you need to know about how the evolution of architecture in Egypt here works, and it's puzzling to say the least. But also, again, raises a lot of questions, and then that raises more questions when you get the answers, but amazing. I wouldn't be surprised if that is you know, older than the Look. younger drawings. So right. Good. Thank very you. good. Thanks. Very good. Upload it to my yeah, channel yeah. or yeah. hook it to my channel. Yeah, yeah. Upload it as well. Upload it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upload it. Upload it. If you want to go down to the deeper stuff. And they're sideways too. I think that used to be a pyramid. And go with the cycle to be resurrected, seem like the cycle of the flood as well. And so the hole was there, it's not modern. 
The one in there is a copy. The original one is in the Egyptian museum. Oh, cool. Is this a tick? The 50 tons used to be piled up here and now I t we saved a couple of pieces of the tubulars there and at least some mm. We're fucked, we cannot prove anymore <laughs> the inner core of the pyramid but we actually documented that yeah. Frustrating, I'm feel frustrated now, right now Hopefully you rather save them somewhere. Probably under the sand. Yeah. <laughs> in Holas' uh, backyard. In <laughs> Holas' backyard, yeah. <laughs> under the sand in his backyard. Pretty yeah, you can just pick up a stone here and, oh, this could be some history now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the tunnels down there. Oh. Oh, wow. So this 50 tons of this was dug from underneath the corridors. Can you put in the lights so the striations show? Yeah. This was not the best yeah. evidence we had here. No. But, no. Uh, <laughs> we had some really nice ones. And I was just telling you guys like this might not be like this there might be the last time, time we see yeah. it. And it happened sooner than that I was like, We just we came right after. That was quick. Okay. Guess good what timing. Can we do? But it's piled down here, as you can see. So they brought the stuff and they buried everything. They buried it. 50 tons. And then this is part of the structure itself that was running underneath. Wow. Huh? From that, look at these surfaces. And the size of the, of the pieces, as shatter the wow. pieces, Mm -hmm. Shows so, like this surface here. Mm -hmm. This one looks yeah, like it's damaged a bit. Well. 50 tons from there, from here, 30 tons from the southern shaft, so in general around 80 tons of crystal, calcite crystal or the Egyptian alabaster, was brought out probably formed entire chambers and the corridors underneath the and then they bury it here for storage somehow destroying this evidence or hiding this evidence that is so valuable and important it doesn't just reflect that the pyramid is much older structure or like just the vessels that were stored from an ancient time but it shows also what do you got? Yeah. Oh, show me. Uh -huh. But also, still, the two other ones were in much they were better, better but yeah. condition. I'm looking for them, buddy. I'm looking for them. <laughs> <laughs> They're down here. Also, in this area, there used to be piles of Same shattered area. pieces I mean, it's everywhere. of the vessels uh, themselves. We found one. No, last two weeks ago, we found mm -hmm. a piece of one of the vessels here. Too. Yeah. Here's, look at this. <laughs> Just some carved flat. Right wow. counter, right? So as I told you, yeah, but this here, this is diorite nice. It's also coming from down there. So you know that it was not just a color side. There used to be a combination of stones. Hmm. Huh. Is that the geopolymer? <laughs> it's a curious thing. Yeah, it's just plastic or glass. Yeah. Makes no sense as you can see, the passages are small, 
and of course when you add to this the cobras and the stuff here mm -hmm. it looks like a, almost like a 3d of the book of the dead but as a structure exactly. not as a text in the wall exactly really exactly. really that's the same we say about the gallery under the pyramid made as buildings because like this like this is like this that's a very small path for anybody hmm? that would be but we need to study or look at a plan here and to compare it with some of the gates that's what it looks like to me the same cornice with the tree the tree that between the dimensions and then the cobras as well let's do a study on this because it's important It's crazy to see these other pyramids over here that were built at a later date and they're just piles of rubble or in this case over there just a pile of sand. It really does tell you a little bit about how technology well downgraded a little bit between um, pre-dynastic through dynastic into the later kingdoms. How does archaeology, how does building construction, how does it get worse as time goes on? How do you go from the Great Pyramid of Giza to that? No one can answer that question. They just assume, oh, well, they forgot things. How do you forget that? How do you get worse at something? You start with the best structure and end with the worst. That makes no sense evolutionarily. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Uh, we will be back with many more videos from all over Egypt. Obviously, this video is less edited and more raw, but we have much more detailed videos coming up that really literally detail very historic places that have pretty much never been documented on video. So I'm really excited to bring you the next few installments of our series on ancient civilizations. But for now, I'll say goodbye and make sure to hit that like button, check those links below. Uh, visit the Kemet School of Mysticism online, linked below, um, and go on their tours because they have on, honestly the best tours in all of Egypt and you can't find better tours outside of Egypt. So there you go. Um, so hit the like button, share on social media, hit the notification bell. We're on BitChute, Odyssey slash library and float.app. We are kind of on YouTube at the Josh Sigurdsson channel, but honestly, we aren't really posting there much only because there's not a point. We were purged from World Alternative Media with 155,000 subscribers on YouTube back in October, so there's no point to really post there anymore. Um, we have many links below for ways you can help support us in our efforts to expose the greatest mysteries of history. So anyway, appreciate everyone watching, and until next time, this is Josh Sigurdsson signing out from World Alternative Media. Find the truth. Be the change. I'm sure you have already changed people's minds in your young age because you're involved and I like that. <laughs>